Claudia Jordan speaks on her inside knowledge about the Diddy parties. Empathize. Speaking of bad boys, that's probably a good time for us to transition because people oh, want to hear the Diddy tea. So let's get into that. Gaysha, what do you think about what's been going on? Because you, you do commentary on this kind of stuff. What's, what do you think about this whole Diddy thing? I hear some people say, it's a distraction uh, for the election. I don't believe that. He's definitely so people in, the, people in the comments saying, Mimi, can't tell us about the parties. I'm going to tell y'all mother one thing. <laughs> there are Diddy parties that are the commercial parties that Oh. Any pe people from Miami, if you're if you on the list, like you, pr promoters know you, you're going to get into those parties. It's not that hard to get into a Diddy party. Then there's the freak-off parties that certain people that are trusted get invited to and booked. There was a modeling agency that used to book male talent for the freak-offs. They had to sign NDAs. I've never been to any of those. I don't think anyone on this panel has been to any of those. Those are two different things. Like, people would say that about, oh, Jamie Foxx parties. Let me tell you, I've never seen no wild shit at Jamie Foxx's parties. Never. It was, he had his mother there, he had his kids there, and then a bunch of friends in L.A. I think that Diddy has those kind of parties, too. And then there's the, the after dark version that he probably had that none of us were invited to or saw. Well, I, I wasn't. I wasn't either. But what I've never you? been to the... I'm sorry, go ahead, Mimi. Never been to what the, the any type of the freak anything off. weird i was at the parties the kids was there and the mama was there and those are the parties i was at so i don't know anything about that you hear that absolutely what i, what I was Ollie, gonna, hear that? what i was gonna add was um when diddy came to miami one time and um i used to i used to MC as well so i opened up for nelly and the saint lunatic <laughs> Um, oh, one shit. one year at Chris Styles. So it was like maybe several years later, I saw Nelly again with the St. Lunatic St. at Club Inn on South Beach. And Nelly so happened to be with Diddy. But I was trying to get uh, Nelly's attention and let him know, hey, I'm the girl that opened up for you, you know, just a small talk. And he was like in my face saying, ah, ah. No, you know, he didn't want me to speak to him. So I was like, well, he's giving me like Nelly belongs to him by it. So when all this came to a head, I was like, it made me reflect on the years back when he was acting the way he was acting. I was like, yeah, these allegations are true. Like, So he was like, like possessive about like, him? Like he didn't want him to talk to nobody like, else? Like you can't speak to him like he belongs to me. It was it was that type of energy. Wow. I do know this. And Mimi, you might be able to co something. Mimi, oh, we losing her, yeah, her connection? Her website. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, too. You're about to lose me. <laughs> Mimi, <laughs> I know we talked about this. Jitty is the type that what we've seen, he doesn't like other people getting complimented or attention around him, right? Like if you say, oh, that's the coolest dude. Remember you told me a story that someone said they complimented someone else around him, like, oh, that that's the coolest dude I know. Now I'm the coolest, you know, like it was very much that. Do you remember you telling me something like that back in the day? It was different, but yeah, he's, 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 a, his control was high. His level of control was high. Be sure to like, comment, yeah, and that. subscribe. I got that. Gotta be I, the baddest bitch. Level <laughs> control was very high. Okay, so Talon, let's let's face. Uh, let me take on some of these questions because, like, of course, people keep putting in there. They they think that there's been some lying assholes on the Instagram, on the media, social oh, media damn, that have said stuff about me. They try to tie me to things and me me as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I I, I I don't know how many times I'm telling you. I met Diddy one time. I was at the BT Awards in 2008, I think it was, when mm -hmm. MySpace was still around. Mm -hmm. Um, I was at rehearsal, he was at rehearsal, and he comes up to me and says, um, what party is he going to? So I was like, I don't know, wouldn't you know where the parties are? And he was like, yeah. So he got my phone number, and I said he would let me know what the popping places were. I was like, cool, that's it. I went back to my my house, got changed, came back to the award show, and I presented at the BET Awards when I was on the show Ballers, all right? It was a sports show on BET. Yeah. So when I was on stage, he texts me and says, you look so pretty. He's like, come backstage, we're all having drinks. It, it's a bunch of us. I was like, all right, I'm bringing my best friend, Alta, who introduced me to me. We go backstage. We had some drinks. I had one of them cheap-ass disposable cameras. Okay, I said, ooh, can we get some pictures? We took a picture. Anyone that knows me knows how playful I am. I put my hand on his face like this, and he was behind me like, like, you know? And I put it on my MySpace, right? I put all the people I met, Patti LaBelle, LL Cool J, the picture with Diddy, Kim Kardashian, all the people. If, if anyone can get into my old MySpace, you can see all the pictures. Um, he never called me that night to tell me what party he was going to. I didn't hear from him. The next day, I get a gang of text messages and phone calls from a New, the New York number, from his number, saying, baby girl, 
why are our personal pictures on, on media takeout? I said, what's media takeout? I didn't know what media takeout was at the time. Oh. He was like, call Fred, gave me his bat line, and get this off. I go, get what off? I went and looked. It was like, Diddy leaves Cassie for deal or no deal model. I was horrified. A, I don't, I don't do that second, the other girl shit. I'm very adamant against that. B, I don't want to be attached to, to Diddy like that. I was cool with Kim Porter. It was not a good look for me, and he just had the twins. So, anyways, I started calling, trying to get the shit taken down. This motherfucker texted me 56 times in one day. And his moods went from, baby girl, why are our pictures to, if I thought you did this on purpose, I would have had you hurt. And it got crazy. So I called him back one time with my publicist friend on the line. And she heard him say that he would make me disappear. So then I had to buck up back with him and said, look, mother, don't talk to me like that. I'm not scared of you. This is before I heard about some yeah. of the other shitty yeah. things, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm hanging people upside down out of buildings. So I was popping off like, man, fuck you, you ain't about to talk to me like that. And then he goes, what are you wearing? And his tone changed. And I go, what? I never talked to him again. He never called me after that. And I have the phone still. I just have to, like, I couldn't charge it. The charge for it went, so I still kept it, right? I have it. So fast forward years later, I'm at Howard's homecoming. An SCV drives by me, and someone says, someone wants to talk to you. And roll down the window, it's Diddy. And he goes, oh, you can't speak? And I was like, I didn't think we were friends after the last time I interacted with you. And that is it, you guys. I saw him in Vegas at a party where Jay-Z was there, Diddy was there, my friend Kathy White that y'all keep trying to tie me into her. It is not true. She was not having an affair with, with uh, Jay-Z. She never told me she was messing with him. Matter of fact, when she, she had a boyfriend, his name yeah. was Malcolm, and she with him. I need y'all to stop this rumor that, that she was pregnant by Jay-Z. She never told me that. I never seen her pregnant. I seen her drinking. We went to Magic Mountain, Six Flags together, and was on the rise. These are not things that people that are pregnant by superstars do. No. They try to protect that fetus. Mm -hmm. okay? yeah. So I need y'all to stop, and people keep saying this shit, and it pisses me off. I'm sure it doesn't make her family feel good to constantly see this being brought up, that she was this mistress. She never told me. I met her in... Um, Memorial Day weekend in 2008, okay? We went to, I went to Vegas with my friend, Nikki Chu. So go ask her, okay? I've been not saying her name. She, she introduced me to her. We, we stayed in the same hotel room because back then we was broke, yeah. okay? <laughs> we and my girls were in Vegas. We did a girls trip. And she was like, my girl, Corey, she's cool. When we went out, we saw Jay-Z's assistant who knew me from before. I auditioned for his videos and we were cool. She invited us to dinner at Tao. Giddy, Jay-Z, Larry Johnson was at the dinner table. And this is an exclusive, y'all. I'm finally telling y'all. We was all around. Kathy was there. He was, nobody was hitting on us. We were actually like sitting there like, we don't belong at this table. <laughs> and then we all walked to Tao, the back entrance, and was at a club. His table was here, and we were a table over. At one point, Jay-Z handed me a bottle of Ace of Spades, and we all had our bottles up. Someone took a picture. That is it. I got drunk, went back to the room, woke up the next day. Like, that was it nobody nobody that's what happened and another time we saw him was another big weekend if y'all are not familiar with vegas i know i'm going along memorial day weekend fight weekend labor day weekend that's when a lot of celebrities used to come out so it would not be rare or odd to see a diddy a jay-z an eve or uh, uh, this or that a uh, little yeah. kim they would be out there for that we randomly ran into him now the second time we saw him he was definitely out there and he had a show okay he had a concert and he was not paying my friend no mind. Like, we were all there. And he was just, like, polite. And he was not flirting with no one. There was nothing going on. So I need y'all to stop with this false narrative. A blogger, Jackie Jasper of Hollywood Street King, put this story out in 2008 because he was fed it from my hating-ass ex that was trying to ruin my reputation. So he was taking any little thing. Oh, she was doing this. It was doing this. She's jealous that he hit on her and not her. It's not true, y'all. And y'all running with one source and then Jaguar gets on and reiterate, brings the shit back up and y'all believe it. Now, I'm not saying that she don't say some real stuff. I don't know her like that. But when it comes to me, I was never Diddy's girl. And if you had an address, I would serve you. But you don't, okay? If you had an address, I would serve you. Can't serve the homeless, okay? Hey, there's a dude named Trap Laura Ross on YouTube. That's why this is a guy kicked back up. That, that video is probably over... A million or so views right now uh, of going over the situation. So I think that's what has kicked up the dust over this last few a uh, couple months now of, of it being released on YouTube. So it, it, it's stirring it's back up on YouTube.
Yeah, people want a conspiracy theory so bad. Yeah. Me, like they want it so bad, and I get it. It's like, oh, Diddy, now, now Jay Z's next. I've never seen him do nothing shady in front of me. Never. He's always been cool as hell and just high and by cool. Like he's been cool. Mimi, we've been around him a couple times. I went by a video set one time. Dame Dash was there. We was all talking, shooting shit. He was a gentleman. He was not. I never seen him no whole shit. I never seen him sloppy. I've never seen him out there drunk. And that's that. I'm sorry. The the conspiracy theory y'all want. And I, I don't know, for some reason, when my name is thrown in, like, people just be believing this shit. Like, I'm out here just f***ing everybody. <laughs> I'm not. I'm too lazy to be a hoe, you guys. I really am. Too lazy. Way too lazy. To be I'm a <laughs>